the X100V is overhyped street shooter. G'day. I've had an X100V for over a year. Bought it full price, my own money. This is my camera. I spent my hard earned bickies on it. So, what do I think of it so far? Well, it's good. But that's about as far as I'll go. I'm not going to rave about it like so many other people. Uh, this isn't just after one week's test. <laughs> I've used this thing for over a year. And I have found some things I like about it and other things ho-hum. But honestly, this camera does not grab me. I don't pick it up and think, this is the best camera I've ever used. No, <laughs> it's got some good points and that's about it. Let me go through a couple of the good points, okay? And they might be rather mundane. It's got a flip screen. Woohoo! The xc 4 has got a flip screen and uh, probably an even better one than this because it comes all the way out. The other good point about this thing is it's got an in inbuilt ND filter, which I use quite a lot. Uh, if it didn't know that, I would be screwing on an ND filter at times because uh, I do find they're useful. So having one built in is exceptional. The rest of the camera, hybrid viewfinder, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't care for it. I don't care for any autofocus. I use this as with my other Fujifilm cameras. I use it in manual focus. The rest, yeah. Um, it's got some clever points, but honestly, most of what's in built in this camera, I don't use. I don't need. Uh, it just gets in the way. So the other day, I was asked to cover an event that I've covered in the past. It's an annual street party here in our town, Mount Evelyn. And I've shot it in the past for media and for the organisers. This time, I'm self-unemployed. <laughs> semi-retired I don't do photo shoots anymore for paid paid work I just uh, use my cameras for my own enjoyment so when they asked me well first they said yes we have other photographers coming to the event so I thought great that lets me off the hook they asked me if I wanted to take photos and I said sure I'll bring a camera I'm going to take the photos the way I want so I thought street party I'd like to cover it street now when I shoot street I do black and white I've got a nice grainy, gritty, contrasty uh, black and white recipe in my Fuji films, not just this one. I minimise what I need to use on any camera. So I send on about f11 for during the day. I did set the shutter speed manually to about 125th, 1 250th of a second probably might have been better. Set the uh, ISO on auto to compensate and then this is the important bit, I zone focus. <laughs> and what that means is I put the uh, focus in manual and I preset it so that anything from say one and a half meters to five meters away from me is in the focused zone. That's what zone focusing means. And with F11 you get a pretty deep zone of focus area in front of your camera. Now that means all I have to do is walk around and point and shoot. I don't have to worry about any setting at all on this camera. It's all preset. <laughs> and I certainly don't have to worry about, oh, did it focus on the right person? It's own focused. Everything in that area is going to be acceptably in focus. Street photography set up like that. You turn your camera into a point and shoot. Did I need an X100V to do that? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> there's so many aspects of this camera that are simply not needed uh, to do street photography like that so apart from the tilt screen and a built in ND filter what else is good about this camera well it's fairly well made uh, there's some disadvantages it does have a fixed lens oh but 35mm is great for street yeah, you can put a 35mm lens on any camera Okay, uh, it doesn't have to be fixed it's got a leaf shutter and if I'm not using a flash at, uh, say, you know, one two thousandths of a second or something, what's the advantage of a leaf shutter? Oh, it's quiet. Mate, you're out there on the street. <laughs> a 
I was shooting this street party. There is literally thousands of people out there. There's a band playing, people talking all around me. Having a quiet shutter is just <laughs> not even uh, something I'm considering. Leaf shutters being quiet might be good in, say, a theatre. That's about it. Out on the street, it's negligible. So, X100V, yeah, good camera. Is it uh, the greatest street photography camera from Fujifilm? No. Let me show you another Fujifilm I got. This is an XC3. They don't make them anymore. Superseded. The XC4 has been out since then. It's got some advantages. The XC4 it does have a flip screen that goes all the way up. Brilliant idea. Apart from that, the big advantage of these is... Ta-da! <laughs> you can put whatever lens you want on it. Any of the Fujifilm lenses... XF lenses and XC lenses will go on this. A ream of old vintage lenses can be adapted to this thing. I can put my old Pentax lenses on, Olympus lenses, Helios 44.2. I can put big zooms on, even from Fujifilm. Here's the 50 to 230. I can use that on there. Things you can't do with an X100V. Far more versatile. This is actually smaller and lighter than an X100V. This camera would have done the exact same job in the same way as my X100V. I can use my X100V because I already own it. But if I was looking to buy a camera to take out and do street or be an everyday carry, would I recommend the X100V, which is hard to get and very expensive? I would say, no, why would you? Why would you? I can take the same photos with my XZ3 for a lot less money than this and uh, then I can throw any sort of lens I want on it which I can't do with the 100V so if you've got a 100V congratulations you're in the same boat I am you've got it, you can use it but if I didn't have the 100V I wouldn't bother buying it I'd get something cheaper, something smaller something that's uh, even more versatile but anyway here's the images i took from the street party bear in mind i did treat it as a street shoot they're black and white they're grainy they're gritty they're contrasty just what i like in a street shoot <laughs> these videos aren't sponsored there's no affiliate links not selling you anything do these for own enjoyment don't make any money off these videos you can buy me a coffee dum 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 dot buy me a coffee dot com slash red carrick but whatever you do whatever camera you got overhyped or not <laughs> pick it up take it for a walk and have some fun bye